Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to QCR. Thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we're going to be making a one-third pound burger. We're gonna be using ground beef sirloin. It's 90-10. Some people say you gotta use 80-20. I don't think so. You can use 90-10. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's actually the triple decker. We're gonna use three one-third pound patties. I got my scale out here to show everybody that it's one third pound patties. Put some bacon on it, put some cheese on it. And we're gonna take this cast iron here, put it out on the egg. We're doing this on the egg. So I got everything heated up right now, it's real hot. I'm gonna measure this out, one third pound patties. Make it nice and thin. The reason you wanna make it thin, if it's too thick, the inside will not be cooked, the outside will be burnt, it's nasty. So let's open this bad boy up and get it going. Turn it around. So we want to clear it. Clear it. Take, we'll try and see maybe that's a third, maybe that's a third. Let's see. Unit. 0 0.324, that's pretty close to a third. So take this little guy here, ball it up to a nice little ball. Nice little ball. You're like, how, how big is a one third patty? That's what a one third pound patty looks like in your hand. See that? Take the tissue, put it right there. Let's see if this other piece is a third. Ball it up, you don't need egg, you don't need breadcrumbs. It's gonna stay together, don't let people lie to you. you. Don't need any of that. You don't put your salt and pepper on until it goes onto the grill. You always want your grill to be hot. You don't wanna put them on when you first start your fire. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, we gotta cut our bacon in half. We don't want a whole thing of bacon. Cut it right in half. Right in the package. Best way to do that is in the package so that it's all secured. Never fails. Look at that. One little piece. Alright, we need six pieces of bacon. Six whole, well, six halves. Three, six. Actually, I'm going to set them. So I'm going to take the cast iron out. Put it on, get it hot, start cooking that bacon. Let's form these patties up real quick. So it'll be good for us. And a little sheet. Take and mush them down. You want these things thin and wide. You don't want them thick and small. You don't have to put a, you don't have to thumb print them. Don't let crazy people lie to you. You don't have to do that. Well, nice and thin, so that they cook up correctly. Man, that's perfect, guys. Perfect. All right, well, let's go out to the grill. All right, guys, so we're out here. Got the bacon on, it's really hot in here. So I'm gonna close this lid down, let this cook up. Cook up pretty good. It's just gonna take a few. Lid closing. All right, everybody. Bacon's cooking up good. Just be a few more minutes. That's bacon. It'll be done. It's really windy out here today. Really windy. Bacon. This bacon right here is almost done. We're gonna take our buns, crisp them up in the same. And bacon then. That way that'd be crispy. Crispity. Probably should have used some more bacon. Alright guys, looks like this bacon's done. We're gonna put the buns right on the grill. Let's move this cast iron out of the way so we can start. Oh, let's get our bacon off. Put our bacon on our plate. Move this cast iron out of the way. That bun looks good. 
We want it to be extra crispy. Put some, let's put these patties on, shall we? One patty. Two patties. And three patties. Alright, so I got these salt and pepper grinders from one of my top fans. A little salt on there. Yeah. Perfect. A little pepper. One of my top fans brought these by. Don't, don't, know, don't know if she's the number one fan, but definitely a top fan. Alright, let's check these buns. Pretty good. Good. This plate's still clean, so we can use it if we need to. So while these patties are going, let me show you what I'm going to do. I got my sauce here. Special sauce. Mostly mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. Put my sauce right onto this bun here. Can you see my bun? Oh, it's crispy. Nice. Nice crispy bun. Put that sauce on there. Mm -mm. Just like that, guys. Mm. Put a little bit on top. Perfect. Curves them out. Alright, so, it's going to take a few minutes. We'll close the lid on them. Alright, guys, let's turn these patties. Turn on. There it goes. Get them off. Just straighten my griddle. I'm gonna turn them just a little bit. Let's see if they're done. Not even close to being done. Two more minutes on this side. Alright guys, I'm going to repurpose some of that bacon grease I was talking about earlier. Put it right onto those patties. Mmm, mmm. That's good. Get that flame up a little bit. Get hot. Want that flame to drop down a little bit? Just close the lid. Perfect. Alright guys, let's see about flipping these bad boys over. Oh yeah, looking good. Looking real good. Mm, nice and charred. So the other side doesn't take near as long. Man, the, worst, the sun is behind the daggum tree and it's not showing up on my Got some good grease coming out of it. Alright. I'm going to put some cheese on here. The old cheese. Piece of cheese. That's why it's called triple tripler. Three pieces of meat, three pieces of cheese, three pieces of bacon. Put on just like that. Uh, these pieces of bacon look a little skimpy. I should have used more bacon. Should have used more bacon. Should have. Alright, let's close the lid on it with that cheese melt. Alright guys, I just already started taking them off. My camera, I guess, wasn't rolling. Stacking them up. The old triple threat here. Triple tripler, one pound burger. Let's close this lid down. Look at that, guys. Would you look at that? Woo! Shoot. Get some pictures of it. Guys. Guys, look at this. Look at that. The triple tripler. Dang it. The one pound 
burger, heart attack on a bun. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, guys. Just, it's oozing everywhere. I don't know how to do it, but I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna bring it on for a close up. Look at this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Guys, that's amazing. I try to cook the burger. So, step one get the bacon out. Step two, no, step one, get the grill going. 30, 45 minutes before you want to put the burger on there. If you're cooking inside an egg. Um, then you get the patty, put it on there. Put your cheese on there. Put the bacon on there. Squish it between the bun. And then you eat on it. Look at this. There I got, oh. Mm. Whoopsie! This is a mess. It's a big old mess. But it's so good. Simple chapter, simple heart attack, one pound heart attack, whatever you want to call it. Heart attack in a bun. It don't matter. Call it whatever you want. This is amazing. Mmm. I'm zipping on my beard. Mmm! Guys, you don't have to believe me. You gotta try it for yourself. This is so good. You probably just cook one for you and your wife, you and your husband, 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 wife, wife, whatever you wanna do. Boyfriend, girlfriend. You gotta give it a try. Oh, where's my, is my thumbs up over here? On this side of the screen? Like it, share it, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by Quality Content Rick. Got the greatest quality on the internet. I know you enjoy it. Please share it with your buddies, friends, mom, grandma. They're really gonna enjoy this video. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Take care.